Anyway, starting Any way. All right. <laughs> it is it is winter time here in the valley. Mm-hmm. Which means there is an overabundance of not a lot to do. <laughs> True enough. Yeah, because we hit the bottom of the mines last time, so there really is not much going on. Yeah. So what do we yeah, need? Because you got the what kind of fish the, do we need the, to catch the, the, for the thing? Uh, they are. It's a lingcod. Lingcod. Which uh, I looked up are available in the river or <laughs> in the uh, the mountain lake. Okay. So well, I just went up to the mountain lake. I got us a bunch of periwinkles. Periwinkles. My goodness. Mm hmm. Oh, also something I learned. Um, hang on to any uh, green algae that you catch. Oh yeah. Um, the fishing pond or the like weird. There's like a ha little hatchery building you can make uh, that Robin can build. Okay. And it requires like five green algae to make. Um. But you can use that to make, like, basically make, like, caviar. Ooh, hey. Because you can harvest, like, fish eggs, right? That and that sounds like a thing we would be into. Yeah, our, our, uh, our uh, high-class white-collar farm. Exactly. <laughs> Ghostlight Farms. One-stop shopping for all of your pale ale and caviar needs. <laughs> Another thing I figured out, now that we have the greenhouse, um, uh, hops are one of those are one of those plants that, like, once they mature, mm -hmm. uh, they... They just keep going? They just keep going. Sure. So we can set up, like, our entire greenhouse to just grow, like, hops and wheat. Yep. Once we get into a, a good spot where we got, like, enough sprinklers and whatnot. Cool, cool. I'm not catching any of these fishums. Lingcod, river, mountain, lake. Well, this is one of the difficult fishings, because there are a couple of difficult ones that I uh, have missed. Sure. Yeah, I've gotten a chub, a perch, and a bullhead. During the winter, yeah, yeah, yeah. What time? Hmm. Uh, 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 time of day, any. Okay. Weird. Weird. I'm not catching any of these bad boys. They might be one of the rougher fishes to catch. Maybe. How many do we need? Um, over over six days, we're looking for ten. Okay. But, like, there's also not... It's not the end of the world if we, you know, fail this mission. Right. Like, it's not like Demetrius is going to be pissed at us or anything. He'll just be like, okay. I'm catching a whole lot of... Just should have gotten Willie to do it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Small little fishy. <laughs> the most intense gameplay experience. <laughs> Why is this minigame so hard sometimes? Oh, the fishing one? Yeah. It's awful. I caught a sword! What? Neptune's Glaive. <laughs> I love it. An heirloom from beyond the Gem Sea. Um, compared to the Obsidian Edge, it's not that great. Sure. But I, I, I pulled a sword out of the river. Is it? Did I just get? I think you're Arthur? a king now. I think you're king now. <laughs> Step aside, Mr. G. There's a new king in these parts. This is the beginning, Chase. This is the beginning of our of our hostile takeover of of the valley. Right. This is this is how we oust the mayor. Absolutely. We, we make a we make a, a formal declaration of war. Mm -hmm. Um. We secede the farm from the the valley proper. Wait a minute. Is the far, or Have we, we not seceded yet? I thought that was part of our opening salvo. Uh, we I got here and we immediately yoinked out. It's there was there was a yeah there was a we we had that meeting where we discussed like plant like like kind of slow rolling it and and making sure that we like earned the the trust of the populace and mm -hmm. there was the whole thing about like making sure we can secure heirs for our kingdom naturally um, naturally and then eventually we would you know dissolve the kingdom after instigating Mayor Blueberry mm -hmm. and then continuing to rule as a shadow government fair enough Mayor Blueberry who yeah. you still have to find ah oh, fuck you right. Where is he, Chase? <laughs> I'm, I'm not telling you. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going. I will say, I was kind of a bastard this time hiding him. Just gonna let you know. All right, all right, all right. I'm into it. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, check out my cool, my cool. Uh, uh. Is that Nep Oath what leak what? sword? Okay, okay. Neptune's here. I'll drop it in this chest real quick so you can see it. Yeah, yeah. So the chat, can, the stream can see it. Yeah. I just drop this. It's in the furnace chest. Yep. I was just dropping off all the fish I just caught. Mm. Neptune's glaive. Yep. That's all a right. thing that exists in this game. Weird. This game is weird. This game is weird. It is known, Khaleesi. Juice some, uh, juice some berries real quick. Jam the berries. What did we need the periwinkle for? Oh goodness, I don't think we needed a periwinkle. We wanted snails for. I've got Vincent. one of those. I've got one of those too. All right, quick, quick, get to bed though, because there's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't yep. collapse outside your house again. Oh, I'm, I'm probably gonna collapse inside my house. Chase, no. Yep. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> How many times has this happened now? I'll be honest, that is the most me thing I could possibly do, though. <laughs> because that's just what happens when I go to bed sometimes. Like, I, I, I am up, I am, like, doing, I'm reading, or I'm watching YouTube, and then I wake up in office bed. Because I could not make it, I could only make it the three feet to office bed and not the uh, 15 feet to actual bed. I'm gonna resolve this problem real quick, though. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that right next to the hut, to the door. Just gonna do some quick realizing. Oh hey! Fresh water all day. Got a new follower. Oh yeah. Photocat, yeah, that's brand new. Thanks for the follow. Who was it? Uh, it has gone away. It's Arr. Fat Cat. Oh, fat that's uh, that's our that's our good friend Jackie. Oh hi Jackie, thanks for the Who follow. Who has uh? Who has been uh, uh, lingering in the chest. Ooh, Chase, I fucked up. What'd you do? I didn't feed the animal. No! <laughs> <laughs> I, um... Our prophets. I, 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 I pet them, and I milked them, and took their took their eggs, but I did not feed them yesterday. Um, cows, cows are fed. Uh, and we've got the auto feeder in here, so we're good uh, with the with the small critters. Okay. Ooh, we got oh, some goodness. wool in here. Bunnies nice. are producing. Oh, we, we gotta make some looms. Also, hi folks who are just stopping in. Hi Zan, I see you in the chat. Welcome to uh, New Star Dude Valley Who Dis with a fancy new uh, UI upgrades. Yeah. Wood, fiber, and pine tar. I think we have all of that. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make four so we have them. And I'll uh, drop them in the coop for you. Cool, cool. Oop, I'm there missing an egg somewhere. Right here. I got, got it. it. Great, cool. Where is it? Or do you have it? It was it was hidden. Yeah, it was hidden by the. Uh, that's the yeah. one downfall of these of uh, the placement of these machines is they can they can hide. Uh... And there's some looms. Hey, okay. we've only got the one wool today. Oh, because we bought the one bunny ahead. Yep. Ahead, a day ahead. Oh goodness. Yeah. Pull that back off, send some cheese to the box. Okay. So yeah, we have this quest to, oh, I need to go pick up my, my, my watering can is ready. I oh yeah, get that. Do, 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 do. And I picked a prehistoric tool out of the dirt. All right. You know, Stardew Valley. Hey, Mushu. Who's a good boy? Right. Clint, I've come from my cans. <laughs> Can me, Clint. Gold watering. <laughs> Gold watering can acquired. 
Now I'll be able to water all the crops. Okay. Excellent. Where were we thinking, where were we at for our, like, building, uh... Building I mean, position? I think what makes the most sense... Oh, hey. Um, yeah. would be to jump to getting the barn, either the barn completely upgraded or getting the, the shed going so that we can mm. start working on getting a lot of kegs moving at the same mm -hmm. time. Um, let's go with barn, I think, mm -hmm. to start. Only because I've discovered that pigs are literally the most lucrative thing in this fucking game. Legit. With the, with the truffle oil that they can make. That you can make from truffles. Mm -hmm. It's like with the with the like uh, most upgraded perks and whatnot. It's something like sixteen hundred per pop. Like it's gotcha. Is is good money. Uh, just so you know, Vincent is at home. So if you wanted to try and ply the child with a snail, mm. there is one in one of the chests. That's which chest chase? Uh, I think the blue one. The oh, got it. Come here, boy. Got this, I got a snail for you. That was a reference for, I think, Xan and Xan alone. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Or should Snailed I say, it. Snailed it. Oh! I'm Fucking stupid. One of my favorite pictures on the internet is a guy who is like, um, took like a like a bed comforter, and and rolled it up in such a way that it has a like it's it's spiraled like a snail shell. Sure. And then all you can see is his two arms kind of up to be like the like eye stalks of the snail, and it just says snailed it. <laughs> it's like my favorite, one of my favorite pictures on the internet. Okay, okay. Um, I have plied the boy with a snail. We are at one heart with Vincent. All right. Now, I guess I'm going to go fishing. Yeah. What rod do I have? I have the fiberglass rod. Have any bait? I'm gonna get some bait on my hook. I'm sure that's part of the problem. I've got a crap ton if you want some. I just got the rest of the bug meat out of the chest. Six, six, six. Acceptable! I get the I get the unfortunate uh, suspicion that the lingcod is like the difficult fish to catch. Oh, sure, certainly. Which which it's gonna be tricky for us. I feel like. My fishing's only at... Oh, my fishing's at, like, seven. But still, it's a difficult fishy. It's a swipe. I did a... Uh, on my Switch game, I did a solo... Or I, I did a job board posting. That was to um, catch trash out mm -hmm. of the uh, waters. Oh, interesting. And let me tell you that I've never caught less trash in my life um, <laughs> than when I had that quest up. Naturally. I was like, I'm tired of getting all these fish. <laughs> Let me pull some glasses out of the river. I hope you're a lingcod, because you're a wily one. Nope, you're a sturgeon, but I'm hanging on, hanging on to you. The sturgeon is how we make caviar. Mm. Perch. Yeah, so if, if you happen to catch any sturgeon, hang on to those bad boys. Okay. Put them in the, stick them in the fridge. Stick them in this fridge to squeeze later. Because <laughs> that's how they get caviar. I know. But this is Stardew Valley. Yeah, but... Where we put an egg in a box and it pops out a fully prepackaged jar of mayonnaise. I mean, okay, yes. I caught a lost book. Four twenty. Thank you, 420. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Blaze It. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to catch this one. This is definitely a Link Cod, though. God damn it. Okay, this quest might be a wash, Chase. Cause... I, I'm maybe, we'll see. We'll see. Because I'm pretty sure that that fish that I just tried to catch was the Link Cod. And it's a bastard. I mean, if you want to dip down to uh, Willy's and see it, about getting the upgraded rod, because we've got that tackle that we can't use yet. 
Maybe we just need better, better equipment. Maybe we just need better equipment. Maybe I need to eat some fish tacos. Gear up. Get my uh, fishing all settled up. Uh, rebate those. Yeah, I'll swing down there real quick. Actually, I need to do my. I need to do the rest of my errands. I need to go pick up our daily hardwood. Mm. Yeah, you do. Oh, so I. <laughs> Huh. I was gonna. I mentioned before the stream. I had a uh, a, a, a griffin dream mm. that I wanted to tell you about. A rare one. Cause yeah, cause I either don't remember my dreams or they're hyper mundane and just uninteresting as all hell. Sure. Um, I'll will remember. I'll see what I can remember about this one. Um, I was not the subject of this dream. Okay. Um, nor was, as far as I can tell, present in it. Mm -hmm. Which is fun. And you know there's that thing about how, like, you never dream, like, you can't dream about strangers. Like, anyone you dream about is someone you've, like, met in real life or whatever. I have heard this. Um, this was just, this was an old man. Okay. In my, in my dream, who I did not recognize. But, um, this was a strange, this, this went from, um, high-speed chase like high speed vehicular chase mm -hmm. to um D, D fantasy to Red Dead Redemption in about three acts. Okay. Um where initially this old man was uh driving a car down a a it felt it, uh, it felt like State Route 25. Okay. Um you know, two lane kind of kind of road, not the highway per se. Um I don't know what he was uh, running away from but eventually some uh, hazards kind of came into place in the form of something that it, my brain was just like oh this is clearly the darkness spell from DD. &D. <laughs> okay we're just like darkness appeared and you know you kind of just like had to drive through it and then i realized oh the people ahead of me or this old man were trying to like you know james bond style lay traps and and run me off the road kind of thing sure and so, uh, after driving through a series of darknesses and fog clouds and things like that, old man ended up, uh, you know, on the side of the road, like, like still driving forward, like, half on the road, half on the, like, curb. And, but then a train was there all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Like, suddenly there were train tracks. And then the car got ran off the road and, like, down a cliff, but, like, precariously. But at that point, the car was no longer a car. The car became a horse. And this old man and this horse were stuck on the side of a cliff. And it was like, I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, pal. And then, like, uh, you know, the, like, pieces of the cliff started uh, kind of collapsing a little bit. And, uh, like, they were like, how are we going to make our way down? But then it kind of, like, perfectly, you know, unraveled and let them descend safely. Uh, but, like... They had, the, the man had to make kind of a jump, and the horse also had to make a jump. And the horse, like, nailed the jump, by the way. There you go. Um, at that point, it became a survival sim, where it was like, all right, all my training has led up to this, this moment with me and my horse out in the wild, which apparently we were just in the middle of the wild now. I don't know. But uh, the last thing I remember was um, finding, like, another old man house, Mm -hmm. Like, you know, someone someone just in the area. It's like, oh, good. I just need to use your phone to call for help. <laughs> and then I woke up. All right. <laughs> Can you go to bed, please? I was putting my stuff away. Okay. I was doing work the whole time, I promise. <laughs> that was my bad dream. Not a bad, Not a bad dream, but a bad dream. You know? Oh, I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright. I have moved my bed to be right next to the door so I don't fall asleep, like, <laughs> halfway into my house anymore. I need to see this. <laughs> Researching the forgotten art of the shadow divination, I require an item void as <laughs> That's great. Oh. Oh, we have we have plenty of that. Oh yeah, one of these chests. I thought we had plenty of that. That's in the yeah standard chest, I think. Yeah. 
God, that's the bed is very good, Chase. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, just a uh, void essence. Yeah. All right. We have that in spades, if you like. Yeah, we have have thirty. I grabbed one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, hanging on to void essence and solar essence is good for us because those is how, those those is how you make mega bombs. Ah. Okay, the animals are actually fed this time. Excellent. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry I, I didn't feed you yesterday. Oh, and you got the duckies? I got the duckies. Cool. It'd be cool if you could put other things in the mayo machine just to see what would happen. <laughs> Syrup. Mm. Want some maple syrup, Mushu? Oh, that's too sweet for doggies. All right. Can I give the boy anything today? I cannot. I've got, I actually have something for you. What? You can use the cloth and take uh, combine stuff at uh, at Emily's sewing machine to make new clothes. Yes, yes, you can. Um, and I have made my very good shirt. So now you get a chance I'm gonna to make something. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a diamond. Ooh. Since we have like 13 diamonds. Fair. Let me go see what I get out of this. Yeah, I rucked around with that a little bit on my Switch game. Um. I uh. I got this like. I forget what I put in to make it. Uh, but I got this really sick like denim jacket. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. I would just like every now and then, cause I've got like sheep, I've got a bunch of sheep in that game. So I, I took a, I would just take random uh, selections of things over there and make random stuff. Oh, apparently I don't know how to use the, sew the sewing machine. Huh. Which I thought I got, I don't know. It says it's a sewing machine. I'm not sure how to use it. Huh. Weird. No well. Um, also, fun fact, next to the sewing machine, on the right side of her wall, there's some, uh, like, pots there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can dye things there. Ooh. Zan says, snow crumpch sounds are very good. You're not wrong. Here, do you want to take this cloth and diamond and see what you get yeah, out of the sewing sure. machine? And... Diamond. Oops. There I go. hit the button too fast. I'm gonna go with you. Cool. You and your cool wizard shirt. Wasn't actually, that like a void essence that you dropped in? Yeah, there? that was a uh, yeah cloth and void essence. And I actually nice might nice. not do the diamond because I just dug up a rusty spur. No, do the, do the diamond. Okay, I'll do the diamond. I want the diamond. All right. But hang on to that spur. <laughs> uh, yeah, these things over yeah. here. These are like dye pots. Weird. I did not. Why? All right, cloth diamond, a pendant shirt. Mm. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I'll toss this to you. That's a yam. Why can I not give it to you? Okay, I'll just put it on real quick. What? <laughs> you look like Flav of Flav. <laughs> <laughs> You look like Flav of Flav with the big clock around his oh, neck. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what I look like. God damn it. And I'm over here being your hype man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it. I mean, yeah. Yo, what's up, Sam? Do a kickflip. Oh, Sam's trying to do a kickflip. <laughs> well, don't stand in front of him. Yeah, you're right. My bad, Sam. Go on, son. Do it under threat of death. We're just gonna stand here and bully Sam. Skate, boy! <laughs> boy. Boy. I regret to... <laughs> Chuck says, I regret to inform you that Slave of Slave turned 60 this week. I don't believe he hasn't been 60 for the past, like, 20 years. <laughs> I 
Because I was in I high think, school think... during the weird Flava Flav Renaissance. Um, yeah, not, nothing, nothing terribly fancy in there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna drop this I'm Void get... Essence off to the wizard. Yeah, I'm gonna get, get the Daily Hardwood. There's some uh, some very strange uh, shirts and stuff you can get in this game. Mm -hmm. There's not an abundance of pants, which is just, uh, not very fun. But I mean, there's also some. I mean, the pants, you know, the clothes in this game take up, you know, like 50 pixels at best. Right. You do what you can with what you got. Flavor of love. Oh, flavor, Flav. <sighs> All right. I try to fire. forget flavor of love, um, really whenever possible. <laughs> that bad, huh? I, I, just the fact that it existed. Sure, 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 sure. I feel that way about, um, I started that sentence hoping something would come to me, but now nah, I got nothing. Ah, fair enough. Oh, come on. I don't have strong opinions about things. Well, either I do or I don't, and often my strong opinions fall in line with the, uh, with, within societal acceptance. <laughs> It's a pop culture menace. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Don't need that. Don't need that. How's our wood situation looking? Not great. No, probably not. Sounds like a job for... Lumber griff. <laughs> Back to the forest I go. Alright, I'm gonna... Hey, these f these are fruit trees, right? Down by the shrine? Uh, I think so? We planted some, like, spring fruit trees. I That sounds correct. Do we want to go ahead and just buy the other fruit trees and get them planted? That's probably a good idea. I don't know if they're gonna grow in winter, though. They They will, I think. Because, like, you could buy, I remember, like, buying the spring seeds in winter mm -hmm. to have them grow through the, the season so that they're ready by spring. Gotcha. Yeah, we can we can do that tomorrow. Get our orchards ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Also, I learned of the existence of, I don't know how to acquire them yet. And I'm not going to look it up. And Chuck, don't look this up for me. Uh, or anyone else, for that matter. But there's ca uh, there are casks, which differ from kegs. Okay. Um, which you can use to age uh, things mm. like wine and, and stuff. Yes, yes you can. And I don't I... know how to acquire them, per se. I, I think but... it is something that you unlock. Like, I as... think so, too. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I remember, ha like, the last time I got really into a solo game, I Let did that. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. If you are just now joining us, welcome to Star Dude Valley, your mm. Uh, mm. favorite Ghostlight Media live stream. Read only Ghostlight Media live stream. <laughs> the only regular Ghostlight Media live stream. <laughs> I know, but it's the whole thing of, like... Telling an only child that you're the favorite. Favorite, like the, yeah, it's like I'm your only child. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not wrong. <laughs> Look, there's parts of this game I want to remain a mystery. Like, I'm very happy. I want to be very clear. I'm happy that Chuck. Well, Chuck sent us on a very dark quest that we are now 
we now have to see to fruition. Yes. And for that, I don't mind, because yeah, that's good content. But there are elements of this that I think also that casks are just so far off for us that I don't want to have to worry about it right now. Sure. Hmm. I keep looking over at the new UI, Chase, and it looks real slick. Thank you. Yeah, I was really happy with that. If there's one... This is a question I consider frequently, honestly. Mm -hmm. If there is one skill or talent that you could wake up tomorrow and not have, like, mastery of, but, sure. like, proficiency in, per se, what would that be? That is a tie. Um, between either drawing... Oh, Mushu's in mm -hmm. bed. Um, oh, Either drawing or the ability to play piano. Piano is also one of mine. Yeah. Because, um, like, I'm not the most musically inclined person. Like, I sing, and I think I'm a decent singer. Mm -hmm. But that is the that is the uh, 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 entirety of my, like, musical ability. Sure. Like, I don't know how to play an instrument. I can barely read music, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I think learning to play piano would be would be awesome. So, um, and I was going to say something along the lines of, like, graphic design. Like, oh. not just the proficiency of the tools, mm -hmm. but, like, I don't think I have a good headspace for it. Gotcha. Like, like I don't have a design-oriented brain. Sure. I'm, I'm decent, like, because uh, my old roommate um, uh, 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 was the uh, was on the university improv team. Mm-hmm. And he did all the, like, show flyers. Gotcha. And um, he would often have me, like, take a look at them and, you know, see what was wonky. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like I can, I'm can i good at giving feedback as, like, a viewer, right? Mm -hmm. But as a designer, I don't know if I would have a, a head for that necessarily. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I went with drawing and piano because drawing is something that I... For probably the better part of a decade, I tried to, like, actively tried to become better at and practice at it, and I just never really got anywhere with it. And it was very frustrating, and then I gave up. Um, <laughs> and I, I, part of me regrets giving up, the other part of me is like, you know, actually, I was really angry the entire time that was happening, so maybe this is for the best. Um, but I, I am... That. I'm not a, uh, a hand drawer, either. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have been actively recently, uh, learning piano and that oh, has cool. been very gratifying. I like, I am seeing a teacher and doing the whole nine yards and everything. And that has been a lot of fun. Um, nice. I have one song that I can play very well. <laughs> um... Yeah, piano or, like, guitar as well. Yeah. Just because I feel like those are the two, like, staples, right? Like, mm -hmm. if you know those, you can play just about anything. Gotcha. The one thing, like, if I was... And the funny thing is, if I was going to today, like, try to... The one thing I've always wanted to learn how to play, I saw, like, those are two things that I don't know if I... I honestly don't know if I could... Could or want to... This is going to sound like dumb and lazy but like put in the work for sure um i mean look, we, we all have so many hours in a day like yeah like if that's something that i was a natural prodigy in i'd be like oh hell yeah Ooh, new snail um who dis for the, for the boy um but like if i if i were to start if i was if, if like someone in my life was like griffin i've signed you up for instrument lessons starting mm -hmm. tomorrow I would be like, like, what do you want them to be? I'd be like, uh, drums, full, full stop. Oh, okay. Like, I've always, cause like, I, I just always, have always liked drums, and okay. I see people just like tearing up a drum set, and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want yeah. that. Yeah. This fucking rules. Uh, in the chat, we've got uh, Carlin would like to uh, is saying dance. Um, and Zan is coming in with electrical computer stuff, which 100% mm -hmm. agree on both of those as well. Like, the, uh, like, yeah, 100%. Like, I 
do not dance well. And the ability to do Same. that with any kind of intention would be astounding. <laughs> there is a certain level of um, intoxication where I'm like, like, on the on the like perfect m middle scale of like tipsy, uh -huh. where I don't feel like an absolute cad trying to just dance in a fun way, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you're at a party or a wedding, right. and just like you know, dancing for but the sake of fun. You break out the dad um, dance, right? There's a there's a point where I don't feel like an absolute. I, I this is not a mention of like skill or talent. This is a mention of how I feel about it. Sure. Uh, but like, yeah, I, I mean, I, like, I was in show choir. I did musicals, and you give me a routine, and I can at least figure it out. I won't say I look good doing it, but I can likely do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm back at the sewing machine again, mm -hmm. and I've got um three bolts of cloth here. I'm gonna combine one with the rusty spur. One oh, yeah. with the duck feather, and then I think I'm gonna do one with a snow yam just to see what happens. A snow. What what uh what other options do you have? Uh, crocus, right uh, the farm uh, warp totem, a winter root, and a torch. The totem could be interesting. I'll try the totem. Ooh. Up to up to you, but like. Yeah, we'll see. Oh no! Yeah. A pair. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even think about doing that. Okay, let's do the rusty spear first. What we, I don't even know what that was. We'll do the duck feather. It gives you like a duck beak mask. I'm gonna scream. No, it, it's a very, it's a vibrant green shirt. We'll do the <laughs> totem. We'll see what happens. Computers. Or oh cars. nope, totem does not work. Oh. Let's try the yam. <laughs> oh wait a minute, no. I'll put on the flame. Oh here. no. It did uh, work. What, the totem? Yeah. What did it give you? Um, come to Emily's house. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Yeah, okay, two seconds. <laughs> uh, en route from the farm. Oh, God. I'm not looking at the screen either. Don't I'm not look at the at screen. The... <laughs> I'm not, Don't... I'm not, I'm not. I'm just trying to... I'm just looking at chat like I can see her in a house. That's it. I'm yep. Not, my, Cars my would also be very it. good. I'll join in that yeah. sentiment. Because uh, I don't know. Cars. I'm wearing the Flavor Flav shirt now. By the way. Good. Good. Uh, the spur right. gave me a cowboy poncho. And right, uh, gonna... yeah, lime green. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Griffin. Ah! Griffin. Hey, Griffin. Griffin. Ah! Griffin. You can't catch me, no. I don't like this horror movie. No! <laughs> Fuck! It's me! Hey, Griffin! Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> uh, Mushu! Mushu, help daddy! Mushu, come Griffin, help Griffin, I'm daddy. coming. No! Fuck off! <laughs> you would not... No! Griffin... You would not shed blood in this most holy of places, would you? Desecration. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need a minute. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> uh. Why the fuck would that game do? Would this game do this? I don't know. This is the cowboy poncho. It's very plain. <sighs> That's pretty good, though. It's fine. And then uh, the green striped shirt, which is what I got from the <sighs> duck. All right. Duck feather, which is fine. I still Ooh. prefer my arcane shirt. Yes, no, that's, it's, it's exceptional. Uh, God. Ugh. But I will put the rest of these, including the very awful. cursed thing in, the, in my bedroom chest. Ugh. <sighs> Dear God, <laughs> what just happened? Okay, 
I can breathe again. We're fine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Can't can't believe you. <laughs> can't I don't know why game. you can't. That, that that was incredibly on brand for me. Uh, fair. <laughs> I tried to slip in the Marnies, hoping that you would get there before you popped onto the screen. No. No such luck. Mmm, uh, lukewarm coffee. That's a strange term if you think about it. Lukewarm. It yes. Like, what did Luke do to be associated with that temperature? Hmm. Okay, that's right. I did the those things. God, I have lot. <laughs> All Stardew Valley tasks went out of my head. Yeah, no, we were definitely going to buy, like, tree seeds today. Oh, yeah. Oh, Did by the way, um, next time you're on the beach, or when you go to the beach, if you find a rainbow shell, hang mm -hmm. on to that. Cool. Um, that guy who, like, gives you the quest to, like, um, like the Mr. Key mm -hmm. to, like, go down into the Skull Cave and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently there's another quest line that's, like, a series of, like, drops, basically. Yes. Um, and one of them, I know it starts with a rainbow shell. Gotcha. Yeah, I know one of them is the battery in, um, what's it called? Um, oh, yeah, it's in that weird tunnel. Yeah, it's in that weird I show, tunnel. I showed you the weird tunnel, right? I'm aware of the weird tunnel. Yeah, because I, I didn't realize the weird tunnel existed. Yeah, that was around yeah, like... last time I started playing. Yeah, because isn't there like a weird... I'm going there now. Isn't like there a weird box like on the like wall or something? Oh, yeah. god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you found it way faster than I thought you would. <laughs> Hi, Mayor Blueberry. You're right in front of my box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, there's a box on the wall yeah. here next to our mayor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta think of, think of a hiding place now. Right? Okay. Uh, well, I know what I'm doing for the rest of this evening. Mm hmm. Hmm. Digging up stuff. Oh, uh, let's see here. Where do I want to go, Mr. Mayor? Where do you want? Where do you want to go? Let's not. Let's. <laughs> we don't. We don't ask you where you want to hang out. Oh, really? Okay, we can do that. I got you. I want a theme song for Mayor Blueberry. Like, I'm not going to make one, but, like, I want one, you know? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's probably a link card right there. Holy cow. The one that darts kind of all over yep, the place. Yep, that immediately just, like, hey, actually fuck off. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call this a quest a wash, because yeah. not only have we been not paying attention to it, but it's, it seems to be very difficult. All right. Hopefully tomorrow I can begin plying the boy with snails again. Hmm. We hit the last time you went to the desert. Yeah, there were like seeds and stuff that you picked up, right? Or uh, yeah, they're up? in the um, uh, the greenhouse. I checked on them yesterday. Let's see. That's how right. Today. Ooh, coral. Ooh, coral. A box. Is it a, is it trash burger? No, it's sugar. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, though, fell off the back of a ship. Oh. We got some beets in here. Oh, cool. A raw beets? Yeah. 
We can make a mill. Hmm. And uh, I think I think you weirdly get sugar out of beets. That sounds right. <laughs> Ooh, I have finally Just hit level quick. eight farming, so I got oh, I can make kegs now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the uh, oak tree farm is taking its sweet time to become an oak tree farm. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's like tree fertilizer now. Oh, neat. Which is like I think it speeds up the growth of trees. Mm -hmm. Queen of sauce. Learn how to make chocolate cake, hell yeah! Starting tomorrow, a traveling merchant fleet will be will dock at Pelican Town for the yearly night market. Hell the night market. yes! I haven't done this one yet. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And there's free coffee. I can go give the boy a snail today. This is good. Excellent. This is good news. Uh, there was a podcast that I used to listen to all the time called Oh No, Ross and Carrie. It's a skeptics mm. podcast, and... They would go and investigate like weird, like, uh, like culty stuff, religious stuff. Um, they did a whole like ten part thing on the Church of Scientology that was really fascinating. Um, but one of the ways that they always judge uh, whatever they go to is uh, what kind of hot drinks they have. Huh, okay. Because one of the first ones they did was um, the Mormon church. And Mormons do not believe in hot beverages. I don't quite remember why or how that is or... But they, like, they don't do coffee. They don't do tea. Huh. And I don't remember if it's a caffeine thing and they just didn't have any of that because if there's like caffeine and because caffeine's a drug or sure yeah apparently uh, uh, Jadaki extends credence to this yes this extends to iced coffee as yep. well yep okay well, there we go because I was gonna ask like so do they not like boil water like what's how wh where, where is the line drawn here Ooh. Is soup a beverage? Is that what you're asking? No. Uh, just... <laughs> I'm asking, like, the... the I, I can't... How literal is the sense, is the, the use of the word believe in here? Fair. Like, do they not believe in, you know, boiling water for cooking, or is it just, like, like more, quote-unquote, modern beverages like that? Gotcha. That I am not sure of. But if it extends to iced coffee, my my brain wants to say that um, it's a caffeine yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm leaning into. Uh, I think the rules are super arbitrary. I agree with that. Um, uh, animals are taken care of. Time to go find a boy and give him a snail. Which is, by the way, maybe like a, which is one of the best details so far in this game. That the little boy likes snails? Of course the boy likes strange river snails. Yep. Don't think it's a caffeine thing. Not 100% sure. That's fair. Um, it could be, with, with the Mormons, it could be damn near anything. Mm. Alright, boy. 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 Take the snail, boy. Oh, goodness. Take the sand. Generally, members of the Latter-day Saints Church view the prohibition on hot drinks as covering coffee and tea, whether or not the drinks are hot. There is generally thought to be no prohibition against drinking boiling or hot water, herbal tea, hot chocolate, coffee substitutes such as postum or malt drinks such as Ovaltine or Milo. Milo. Huh. Seems pretty arbitrary to me. Boy! Take the snail, boy. Give me the second heart, boy. Ah, we're still only at one. Mm -hmm. One more snail ought to do it, though. Good, good. If I know if I know small boys, once you give them three snails, they're <laughs> they're like buddy in your hands. Yeah. 
You said it. I was hoping you wouldn't. I did. I did. And I immediately regretted it. Okay, well, as long as we're all unhappy about it, that's fine. <sighs> that little that little switch in my brain went, this would be weird to say, but it'd be funny. <laughs> and I went with funny. Oh. And the things that I say will be on the internet forever. Yeah. Ooh, I am mm, no oh, snails I in the uh I know crab I pots today. What do you need, Chase? I need to get a bouquet for Haley. Are you that far along? Yeah, I'm at like eight hearts or something. Yeah. Holy shit! I'm at eight. I'm <laughs> slacking, I'm only at two with Maru. Girl likes flowers. Oh, I got a cutscene going into Pierre's. Ooh. Gus, I have just the thing for you. I'm all ears. The bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom veggies. They're hand-picked and sorted to ensure only the finest quality and taste. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of offer. That sounds pretty good. I could use these some high, some quality veggies for the saloon. How much does it cost? Oh, I bet this is from our uh, from the last quest thing that we did. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Only mumble mumble mumble. New artifact. Pierre is, getting over, put on, <laughs> Pierre is getting put on blast for his pricing. Just absolutely lit up. Pierre's a no-good, dirty capitalist, so... It's a disaster, Mr. G. I thought this was a surefire business strategy, but it turns out no one is willing to buy vegetables at a 10 times price markup, even if I put the little organic sticker on them. You fool, you child, you absolute cad. You, you should be less greedy. Yeah, suck it, Pierre. Yeah, that, yeah, Pierre, notably a bad business dude. Yeah. Like, I certainly never want to, like, let Joja Mart take over the country. Mm-hmm. But, like, Pierre's not much better. No. I just leave this pile of trash in the mayor's house. <laughs> That'd be great if the game would let me do that. Buy the bouquet. All right. Oh, you want to buy the tree seeds while you're there? Yeah. Which ones do we need? Um, it's the summer and the fall. I mean, if we want to do them all right now, it'd be the summer and the fall ones. So I'll that's take... what: yeah. peach, orange, apple, and pomegranate. Yep. Peach, orange, peach, pomegranate, apple. Got them all. Sick. Ooh, we got a bottle of wine ready. Also, can Wild confirm with plum. the chat, uh, ex Mormon TikTok is absolutely peak. Just about any ex religion yeah. uh, group has wild stories. Like, oh, I was sure. not a. I had a Catholic upbringing. Sure. But it was not, like, as intense as I think people make it out, or, or maybe assume at first. Sure. Because, um, like, I attended Catholic school for nine years. But, you know, this was, not a, this was not a school that was, like, operated completely by nuns. There was a nun. Right. Um, but certain things, like, I remember in, like, first or second grade, part of our education was memorizing and re-reciting prayers, right? Sure. Like, we, we went to Mass every Friday. Uh, in in school, so I went to mass twice a week on Friday in school and then on Sunday with my parents. Right. Um, in this game, they do Chuck. Um, so like it wasn't a full on. It wasn't nearly as indoctrinating as I feel like a lot of things can be. Sure. But there were certainly elements that I look back on and go, oh, "That's kind of twisted." That's like, weird. <laughs> yeah. I certainly grew up not knowing that it was an option to not be Catholic, right? Like, right. Well, I mean, that's just religion. I mean, you, you know, point. like, I, I was definitely brought up in a, like, we were raised roughly non-denominational, which just means we were Baptist. 
<laughs> I've heard you quote that before, and I love it every time. <laughs> and it, it, it remains true. Yeah. Yes, Chuck, um, pomegranates grow on trees. I'm going to go make my uh, hardwood one. H hardwood right. one, real quick. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's a. Um... Uh, 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 friend of the friend of the network, Liz, on Twitter, who has a lot of great like um, ex uh, evangelical mm -hmm. uh, stories. For sure. Hmm, I could buy a coconut from the uh, traveling trader. Just a straight coconut. Huh. Consider the coconut. Yeah. I remember once, like, uh, being, like, uh, uh, trying to ask about the difference between, like, a teacher once asked, like, people if, if they were Catholic or Christian. Uh-huh. And I was like, what's the difference? And it was basically kind of brushed under the rug of, like, oh, don't worry, dear, you know, like. <laughs> don't think. Like, we, don't think. We all it's believe, fine. We all believe in God here. I'm like, what was the difference? What did you ask them? <laughs> all right. Nice lime. Uh, I'm just grabbing the hardwood, and then I'll uh, head yeah. back home. We will take our break. Oh, right. That's a thing we do here. Yeah, we do. All right, two more stumps to kill. Die, stump. Die, other stump. I did it. I reign victorious this day. Huzzah. And I picked up one of the uh, dwarf scrolls that we don't have. I spent so long on my Switch game trying to get one of the scrolls. And apparently the only way you can get this one is uh, like a random drop from a monster in the mines. Oh, weird. I eventually got it. Zan in the chat. Someone give me a fun race class combo for 5e. I'm making pre-gens for a wedding-themed one-shot. Mm. Um, you know, I will uh, mull that over over the break. Same. And chat, while we take our break, please help, help a Zan out with that. Right. Uh, I can drop off the rest in the morning. Sick. Cool. Lucia teleported into my room. That's fine. Magic dog. There we go. You should be back now. Cool. Excellent. Yes. All right. So, Zan's question in the chat. Fun race class combos for, uh, for a wedding-themed D&D one-shot. For a wedding. Um. Hmm. Really here tonight. Home. How 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 goofy we looking to be here? I'm assuming because of one shot, the answer is quite. Ooh, this is kind of cool. That's a so, mini shipping bin. So oh yeah yeah yeah. We can drop stuff off in there. Oh, I I watered the goat instead of milking the goat. It's not quite right. No, now we just have a wet goat. <sighs> um, I think that Goofy's who wants they're trying to help a hill giant woo slash marry his love. Amazing. Okay. Um, I think one of them one has to be like the officiant, right? Naturally. Um. So maybe like a, maybe like a, like a Goliath or like a, you know, like an orc, like another, another kind of, you know, a, a friend of the hill giant. And they're like a, um, I mean, you could go cleric, right? You know, yeah. be the, like a, like, like a legitimate, you know, priest officiant. Yeah. Or something goofy like a, a barbarian who is just like. Who just who just screams and declares their love from the mountaintops, right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
trying to mull it over here because I, I like I I'm getting warforged, but I don't know where to go from there. Mm. You could do the like old school best man trope where like the best man was supposed to be, you know, like the swordsman who fends off um, mm. other 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 um, other suitors. Yeah, other suitors from uh <laughs> And you just have a really good warforged fighter who thinks this is like, or like a paladin whose like solemn duty is to protect this wedding, like make sure this wedding goes off without a hitch. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, dwarf scroll. Hey, we have all the dwarf scrolls now. Oh, nice. So that's the we can talk to the to the dwarf, the cave dwarf. have like an aracocra like flower uh person who you know just sky drops petals over the uh <laughs> um two aracocra that fly away after the ceremony <laughs> release the aracocra it's a dumb joke but i like it <laughs> that's all that really matters exactly The like, maybe like the uh, like wedding organizer, like the event organizer, um, is like a druid, so they can like fly around and you know shape shift into stuff to uh, uh, you know help out the process. What would be the best class for like a wedding organizer? Maybe like an artificer. Artificer is up there. Do we need this bottle of wine for anything. We need it for the a bundle. Oh, bard makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, give them yeah. that expertise. Um, no, we got the wine we needed for the bundle. Mm -hmm. Kenku named wedding bells. That's very good. Oh, that's very good. You don't have a DJ. You have a Kenku. <laughs> I am now officially dating Haley. <laughs> nice. Our friends once played as all of the girlfriends slash wives slash girls in the friend group, uh, and they had to get the groom to the wedding. That's fun. Oh, that's fun. I like the I like the Kenku, um, D, yeah, DJ slash like just soundboard for I mean, Kenku, wedding sounds. Kenku Bard just in general is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, back in the day, um, in, when I was playing 3-5, one of the guys I was playing with played as a Warforged Artificer, and 3-5 was a notably much crunchier system than 5th edition is, um, yes. which meant that you could enchant individual pieces of armor on a daily basis, so his day would always be spent enchanting all of his body parts, because he was a Warforged, and Come so <laughs> he was just enchanting himself constantly. Um, That's wild. Yeah, it's very good. Ooh, got another snail up here for you. Ah, uh, sick. I was just coming to check. Cool. I will. I will not I'm touch right, your I'm... hall then. Oh, hey, buddy. Stop the shame. Also, also gonna come drop off gifts for uh, for Maru. Mmm. I like. I found out she likes diamonds. Oh. And we have those. We have quite a few of those. We do. We're literally crafting them. Yeah. We put a diamond in the machine, and then eventually it pops out another one. Oh. No. She's not here. The bouquet did not count as me giving Haley a gift. Correct. Weird. Did not expect that. I gotta hunt her back down. Yeah, if you see Maru, let me know. Will do. Hi, Abigail. We're dating in my other game. <laughs> Actually, we're married now in my other game. Nice. Your shit. Yeah, I forgot how sweet your partner is um, once you're married. They're just, like, so adorable. They, 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 they somehow found a way to, after going through everyone's, like, various heart events, of finding a way to make these characters even more precious. Oh, for sure. Aha, I found Maru. Here you go, Chica. I'll have to 
three with her. Nice. And now I give a small boy a snack. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, also, Shane, who's walking by right now? Yeah. I uh, I got to see his uh, his two heart event. Okay. It makes me really actually want to pursue Shane's storyline because like it's sad. That's what I've heard. Like is that... Shane is just Shane is just straight up depressed, right? Mm -hmm. Um, his two heart event is literally him. So he he lives at Marnie's. Mm -hmm. Um, he's her nephew. Yes. And Jazz is his sister. Oh. And and the two heart event is him literally passed out on his on his bedroom floor, surrounded by empty beer cans. Ooh. And like Jazz comes in and like sees it, and he feels like the most ashamed. Sure. Like it's just sad. Oh hey, Nightmark one <gasps> caught a link cod, finally. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that was a that was a pain in the butt. And two, night market. Night market. After you, sir. Wizard, out. wizard, and Flava Flav coming to the night market. Exactly. Ooh, this music. Yeah, see how they're hanging out. Yeah, they're these yeah. two are related. Oh. So yeah, so uh, all these boats are down here. Uh huh. This guy gives you free coffee. Love it. Ah, uh, like a, like a little Turkish coffee thing. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, there's some seasonal plants we can buy from uh from this fool. Ooh. This is like a submarine. Okay. Like it's like it's like a glass bottom submarine ride. Huh. Yeah, go for it. All right, yeah. Let's go for a deep sea fishing tour. Yeah. Okay. Cool oh, clock. it's getting dark out there. Okay have a snail okay we have our snail of protection in case we get hungry <laughs> oh oh beans <laughs> what, are gonna, what are we gonna get i don't know i forgot you could actually do fishing down here Ooh, a midnight squid <gasps> I also got a midnight squid. Nice. Yeah, I forgot about this part. So weed. Gotcha. It might just be midnight squid. Maybe. Also, how is the, uh, what's the physics of this submarine? How is the water not coming in to drown us? I, air pressure. Okay, whatever, Chase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to be such a shooter there. Oh, got real aggro for no goddamn reason. <laughs> oh, as our good friend Zach Robb says, I'm sorry for me. Back up? Yeah. Top three squid. A strange and mysterious denizen of the ocean's twilight depths. And just like all fish, you can just straight up eat this thing raw. Is that a challenge? I mean, not really. You oh, can't. I didn't mean to give that to you. It's okay. I will not. Nom, 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 nom. I sit oh no. Uh, the uh, fun traveling traders here, and her strange little pig with the fez is in an inner tube. Yep, saw that. It's very good. Um, you can uh, we can buy this piece of artwork from uh, this guy down here. Sure. Um, <gasps> what? This guy is selling stone frog statues that I just bought two of for the shrine. Good. Good. Also, some spring seeds, if we're feeling feeling seedy. An iridium fireplace. 
please. Yeah, 15,000. Oh, and then there's this weird thing. Uh, the mermaid yeah. show. There's a secret for the show? What is what secret note? No, no. I don't know this. This this is the mermaid show, Chase. Okay. Is there something you're supposed to do? Do you need like one of the like instrument blocks? Like what is the what do you need what's the secret? One of the notes Oh, like the like the one of the hidden books. Oh, probably. Okay. I guess we'll just keep a. Oh, or maybe like. Oh, oh God. Whoa. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I think it's a little drug trippy. Um. I think we're just stuck here now forever. Okay, I left. I I can't leave. I don't know where the door is. Oh, found it. Okay. <laughs> We're good. We'll have to check the library tomorrow. Do you have any secret notes? No, I don't think so. I think I know what you're talking about. I just forget how to acquire them. Um. But anyway, we, we can uh, bamf back to the farm from this guy. Yeah. For the shrine! Yeah, I don't think we've gotten any of the secret notes yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. Hi, Muju. Good night, buddy. Oh, shoot. Cheese! Cheese, Cheese for, for everyone! everyone. Ooh. Oh, we are have very happy in the today. Keg. Oh, you're right. That's my bad. No worries. I will. Uh, I'm gonna run our geodes today because we got got super good luck. Oh, go for it. Yeah, I've got one. Hold on. We'll drop it in the white chest. Yeah. And I'll uh there we go. hit hit the cows. Well, not hit the cows, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna go tenderize my cows. <laughs> Okay, first I feed them. I guess. <laughs> then I take this bucket. This game is cool because there are a lot of like little secret things. Oh, for sure. But I feel like it's very hard to like. I don't think it does a necessarily a great job of giving clues. Right. It's always stuff you have to just kind of stumble on. Yeah. Like, I've hit a roadblock in my Switch game for um, something. Mm -hmm. Something secretive. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And, like, I have no idea beyond looking it up on, like, the wiki of what to do for it. Ooh, got a rabbit's foot. Oh, I think we need that for a bundle. We certainly do. Also, another weird element of this game is that, yeah, you can just get a rabbit foot from a rabbit, and the rabbit's fine. Yep. You can check you have any. When you open your inventory, go to collections. Secret notes down at the bottom. Oh, you're right. Uh, Yeah. That's not even a tab I have, so the last tab I have is letters, so I'm assuming we don't yep. have any secret notes. I think I've gotten a secret note before, sometime in my, you know, hundreds of hours playing Stardew. Certainly. But I certainly don't remember how to... how I acquired them. Alright, plan of attack. One, give boy snail. Mm -hmm. Two, acquire hardwood. 
Three, acquire regular wood. I'll have to do it next year, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're playing this game for the rest of our lives, so. Oh, oh small boy. I have a gift for you. He has yet another snail. Come on, two hearts. Nice. One! Damn it! <sighs> Still only at one. And we'll have to wait till we'll wait a, I have to wait another week before I can give him more snails. Because this game doesn't want us to succeed. No. Nah. Gosh dang it. What if I give the boy wine instead? You cannot booze the boy up. Although I am curious what happens if you give the children alcohol. It's probably probably coded into the game as like a super dislike a gift or something. It's like, I can't play with this. This isn't a snail. What do you want me to do with this? I'm a child. But I have a snail for the future. Mm-hmm. Future snail. The days of future snail. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a... Uh... I was also in a superhero mm -hmm. joke uh, vein. I was just thinking of Future Snail as my favorite superhero, but sure. Days of Days of Future Snail is pretty good. Enchanter's bundle, yeah, okay, Enchanter's bundle. Boom, Rabbit's foot. Nice. See if we... Okay. Next stop, wood. I've got a we could also here. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna swing on down. I've got a, I've got a piece of jade as well. I'm gonna try cloth and jade. Ooh. See what happens. We could get it. We could work on a. I think I have enough hardwood to get us a stable. Ooh, yeah, do that. And then we can start closing in on, on Super Barn as well. Leave me alone, slime. I'm just, I'm just here to collect my daily pittance of hardwood. It is a very green shirt. I mean, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can use like crafted items as well, like things you make from the crafting menu. Mm hmm As like it doesn't just have to be raw materials. Sure. Um like I wanna say different like cooking dishes give you oh, like geez. weird fun clothes. So like you could make like an omelet. <laughs> I want to it. know if that's true. Which I, I I assume it is, because why wouldn't it be? I want to sit down with concerned ape and figure out like, okay, what was the process for making like a thousand clothing items? Cause there's a ton, like you start with a ton of options, like yeah. just that character creation. Yeah. Cause like you can also make like hats and pants as well. For sure. There's just a lot, there's just a lot more shirt options. All right. Buh. Woof woof. Woof woof. Uh, let's see. Drop that off. 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 Uh, do you want me to go get us a stable? Yeah. Let's get a stable. Where should I put it? Oh, you know what? I might need some... I might not be able to, actually, because I think it requires copper. We're actually low on copper somehow. Oh. I mean, because we're not going into the... We, we have not been in the mines very much, and we definitely haven't been in the mines very much um, in those higher levels. On the, yeah. Or the lower levels. Technically higher levels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'll swing by and see how much... Because my gut tells me that it's copper. Sure. I'll go take a peek. 
you know, chop down any trees along my way. Because I'm an eco menace. Uh, uh yeah. What's up, Robin? Construct farm buildings. Oh no, it's iron! Okay, cool. Yeah, we got plenty of iron. Okay, so she might be... She might close for a... Uh, before I can swing back, mm -hmm. but I can do it tomorrow. Yeah, we have uh, actually far more hardwood than I thought we did. Is the night market night. different from night to night? There are different... Yeah, the vendors have different... Um, different stuff? Mm -hmm. Cool. It's not, it's not a huge amount of difference, but there's some difference. Cool. I will... I just dipped out to the quarry. I will be right back to town. Oh, not the mine. Town. It's very peaceful in the winter. Yeah. There's some weird sound I was hearing that I legit couldn't tell if it was happening in game or outside my headphones. Gotcha. I think it's outside my headphones. But it sounded just weird enough that it could have been a Stardew Valley For <laughs> sure. ambient sound. Ooh, we need wheat, don't we? We need for wheat. something. Uh, I mean, we can make beer out of wheat. No, uh, for the fodder bundle. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's only one wheat seed. That's dumb. What? He's only selling you one seed? It's the the traveling trader lady. Oh yeah, she only yeah. She only sells one. I'm gonna buy that already more. I'm gonna buy this sturgeon. artist bookcase. Ooh, that is very cool. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I gotta so, get that. Uh, and that. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do two of these. Oh my god, what? I got two of the suits of suits of armor and a stone parrot. Don't worry. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Buy, buy a crap ton of wheat. Wheat's super cheap. Yeah. Now I can... I've got the gold watering can now, so we can slap those in the greenhouse and I can go to town. Cool. I've got 30 of those now. Ah, uh, yeah. Perfect. And they cool. grow super quick. Ooh, do you want me to grab some hops as well? Uh... Yeah, sure. Four, five, six, do you like... I got... I've uh, grabbed eight of those, and we can do them in one of the, uh, one of the uh, circles. Sprinklers? One, yeah, okay. one of the sprinklers. That way we could just have hops constantly. I can dig it. You said you bought 30 wheat? Yeah, 30 wheat and uh, two suits of armor. I'm going to go home right now. Yeah. There is an owl that deserves okay, are you, can an you buy armed like, guard. Can you buy like six more wheat? Uh, I have already left. Or have you left? I okay, have no left. Worries. Because the uh, the watering can I have is the it can do the three by three, mm -hmm. uh, square. Gotcha. There we go. Good. Good. I will come view it in a moment. Yep, you're good. Uh, drop off that sturgeon for the future. I will give you this these wheat seeds because you have uh, the... drop drop them in the chest. Remember, because it only does one at a time. Oh right. Oh god, the shrine is magnificent. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm okay with the parrot being this far away. I don't want I, I don't want Growl to feel like there's another bird no, stepping exactly. on his territory. You know. No, well, that that was the intention. Cool, cool, cool. I think it's a good choice. Cool. Um, you have the hops as well. I'll oh do yeah. This in the morning. I got it. can 
it in the morning. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, if you want to do the animals, I'll, uh, I'll set that up in the greenhouse. Sounds good. Beer quest begins. Yeah. <laughs> the real, the real Stardew Valley starts here. <laughs> That is maybe one of my favorite niche jokes. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Apparently, um, I, I already know had how, uh... That, uh, one of those bookcases, so now I'm doubling up in one room. <laughs> I mean, they look good. So. Yeah. I've got mail. Ooh. Clint wants an iron bar. I mean, we can probably do that. Oh yeah, the golden scythe. Yeah, golden scythe was something that I like forgot existed, and then I remembered. <laughs> but yeah, there's so much to this game, so many little tidbits. Um, yeah, this will work, right? Yeah. Just gotta walk. I guess I'll do 30 of these, so we'll do rows of five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Sweet! I was gonna say shit. I was gonna start saying something. I forgot. Oh, um, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Nick, was uh, playing through the Dark Souls games for the first time mm. and uh, streaming them just for our, our Discord. Sure. And um, I don't know how long it continued on, but uh, I think for a, a while he was doing what became dubbed as Dark Swoles, mm -hmm. where like every time he died, he had to do ten push-ups. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. I'm thinking for my eventual uh, Dark Souls stream, I'm going to need a... There's going to need to be, like, a facet where that has to happen to me. Oh, for sure. Which is going to be difficult, because I can barely do ten push-ups on, like, a good day. Because, as mentioned, I'm a weak-ass scrub. <laughs> trying to get better. I've been, doing the, I've been doing that ring fit life, and, uh... I was on that ring Boy, fit grind guessed, uh, until until my recent health issues started to pop on. Yeah, that, um, you know what? That's fair. Uh, I'm hoping after my recovery, um, I should be good to go on that front. Um, I should be back up and running for for Star Dudes next weekend, certainly for that. Uh, stable. I'm gonna do a stable. Today. Yes. Where do I want to put the stable? I typically, like, put it close to, like, ideally I would put it over here by the, kind of by the house. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, ready to, ready to roll. Do you mind if I move the little crystallarium thing? Oh, yeah, go for it. Refund the diamond. Put that up here. Yeah, I'm thinking of putting it kind of, like, right here. By the shipping box. Oh, sure. Yeah. That works. Cool. I'll go uh, run and sell that. Hard wood. Let's go. You want to get us a horse? Yeah, you go You go take care of that. We're going to have to name the horse. Should we also name the horse Mushu? <laughs> we don't want to give Mushu a complex. That's true. Hmm. Chat, what should we name the horse? While you were talking with chat about naming the horse, I gotta step away for a second. I'll be right back. All right, no worries, man. Now it's just only me, chat. 
My conquering of the Valley of Dudes has begun. <laughs> but now we got to name this horse, and I don't know what we should name it. I found another small man in the dirt. I'm gonna have to, I'm basically gonna shout cast my gameplay since you're seeing uh, Chase's screen right now. Name the horse Cow, huh? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. We've had, like, a theme with the various sets of animals. And we had, like, the horse is a singular... Like, I don't know if we can get multiple horses in, in this. We might be able to, since there's two of us. I don't know how it works in co-op. Calling the horse cow is pr pretty good. could name it after our, like, our Eldritch Overlord of the Shrine. Obscure colors, like Chartreuse. Or, um, what's the most obscure color I can think of? <laughs> That's a yes for Chartreuse. I have returned. Welcome back. Uh, we're discussing horse names. Of course. Uh, Zan initially suggested, uh, cow. Sure. Hey, hey, Griffin. Yeah, bud. Can you please give me the small man so I can turn him into clothes? <laughs> yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Cool. <sighs> Just walk back the, past the shrine again. <sighs> Cerulean. Please. Yeah, Cerulean is on there. Oh, we're talking about obscure colors. Obscure yeah, colors yeah. for the horse. Um, Chartreuse, uh, Zan seemed to be in favor of. Mm -hmm. I like Cerulean as well. Um, Fathalo? One Mogan? It, it's the other one that, that Zan has. Fathalo. Fathalo? Oh. Well, then why is it in there, Zan? <laughs> I missed that in the in the chat. Why is it there? Why'd you bring it, Mark? <laughs> <sighs> like, I'm not blaming you, but I am a little curious. It's the it's the whole thing of a it's 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 my name is Steven with a PH. Steven. <laughs> I'm gonna try a crocus too. What the okay. small man give you? It looks like a man shirt. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Let's take a look here. Put that on. Yeah, it's just it's just got the man's face on it. I'm coming. The doll shirt, featuring the string, the ancient doll faith. That's awful. Um, I'm coming. And then a, a nice shirt with a. Okay, that's fine. All right, so show, you're show me the man, show me the man shirt. Here's the man shirt. Can I get a? Oh Lord, have mercy! It's not great. It's not great. And then <sighs> here's the the crocus shirt. Crocus shirt is okay. Oh, I would like that, please, if you're willing to part with it. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I would like that very much. Um. I okay. I can I. I don't think I can like give it. To, I don't think I yeah, can yeah, hand yeah. it to you. But I will give just, it to you happily look. when we get home. But Drop first, let's go to the night sure. market because it's night three for night sure. market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also the oh, it's it's also the wizard's birthday. Um, I'm gonna deputize you to uh, uh since we have a shared bank account. Uh, yeah. If there's anything you want to buy. No, we're joined. Um, we're good. I'm I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, uh give the wizard a birthday present. Do it. Hopefully, I can make it in time. Cause I know that homie likes void essence. Love void essence. George is just here for the free coffee. I feel you, George. What do you I'll have? just uh, talk to you this in the night market on the stream. Same. Oh, the suits of armor look really good. God, the shrine is. Joe 
Ninja Cola Light. Don't need any of what? that. What? It's like a jo like like a like a neon Joja Cola sign. I see it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. How to do Vint that? Vintage neon. Yep. Just gonna just gonna grab two of these just in case, because I, I mean, y'all y'all know y'all see what's going on. <laughs> All right, wizard, I hope your door is open, because I have a birthday present for you. Please, 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 please. Yes! Yo, what's up, my dude? Take this. Oh, shit, that was just for his quest. No! Well, you get jam for your birthday. I forgot we had a quest for Void Essence. Oh, yeah. Well, birthday jam it is. Acceptable. All right, there, there's a new addition to the shrine. I'm stoked. I'm on my way back. Crunchy snow footsteps. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah, let's take a... Let's take a... Let's see how the shrine's doing. They had stone owls. Oh. These are his subjects. Exactly. These, these, this, these represent us. Ah, yes. Think. Yes. These represent us, the, the, the two. You know, See, the I right, thought we were the, the snowmen. The right talent and the left talent. Okay. Are we the snowmen? I thought, yeah, we, 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 we were to his right and left. Or are we the knights? Hmm. I was going to say, maybe we're the knights. Maybe we're the knights. <sighs> we do have swords. We do have swords. This is, and we have ident we have matching swords. Like, right. Yeah, I, I think we're the uh, we're the knights. The the stone parrot represents the the shadow of the owl. The other stone owls show that though there may be many owls in the world, there is only one Gur owl. Correct. The snowmen. Are really just there because they, it's, you know, it's winter time. Oh yeah, no, because um, we're festive. Because we're not monsters. Yeah. No, they're they're representatives of the holidays that we uh, abide to. Oh shirt, bow tie shirt. It's in the white chest. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, oh, it looks so good. <laughs> ah, I look fresh as hell. Sometimes when I get really excited, I briefly turn into Mordecai. <laughs> Every so often. Um, so Griffin, have you had a chance to check out yes, Loop sir. Hero yet? No, I've seen you and Ryan playing that a fair amount. Yeah, that has been my my nighttime distraction, and it is something. I need to I need to put it down for a couple of days and and get some work done on other things. But that game is a hell of a trip. It's a roguelike, right? Yeah, so the idea is that you are um, traveling around a... You're in a loop, and you're going around and around and around, and as you go through, uh, you are picking up, um, like, cards. You, it's a deck-building game. Or rather, the deck is built before you go in, and then you are playing cards, and the card becomes the world. Huh. Yeah. And so, like, everything else, like, the only decisions you are making are about equipment and what is in the world around you. And by choosing what's in the world around you, you're actually creating the enemies that you're going to fight. The fighting is done automatically. So you're basically trying to, based on your deck, you're trying to create a situation that is the most beneficial for you. Absolutely. And that could be whether you're trying to actually beat that particular instance of the world or if you are trying to just gather resources to build up your home base. Interesting. Yeah. I I am seriously considering doing a couple of streams of that just to justify me playing it for several hours this week. <laughs> oh, hey, Finn. Hi, Finn. Okay. Secret gift exchange when everybody in town is randomly assigned somebody else. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Who do you have? I I I I clicked off the letter. I don't know. <laughs> well, hang on. Maybe I can watch. I'll... Fortunately, it, no. these are on. Uh, I it didn't. On stream. It didn't even show up. Like I clicked off the letter while it was still on the first page, and I. Oh have... no, Chase! Whoever it is is getting jam. <laughs> I have the um, unfortunate. I have the false mayor as mm. my uh, as my secret secret Santa. The pretender to the crown. Yeah. <laughs> But I have this new bow tie shirt, so you know, feeling fresh as hell, fresh to death. Zan says I played a character recently that has a Turk's voice without the accent. Turns out that's just Mordecai. Yep, that's correct. Absolutely correct. Um, Zan, in my uh, Switch game, I'm uh, I got I got this all taken care of. Cool. Yep. Um, I'm playing. Uh, 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 I made my character uh, one of my old D and D characters, Kiara. Um, and, um, from our home game. And when I got my horse, I did name my horse, uh, Casca. Casca's a good, good boy. Casca's a good, good boy. Uh, I'm gonna drink this coffee and have super speed. Glug, 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 glug. glug. It all goes into the fermentation chest. Oh, I need to go. I need to go water the water the wheat. A uh, cockle landed on shore. Mm. I think this will probably be our, probably our last, last day game. for the stream. Yep. Yeah, you are on a, a much tighter schedule these days. It's not as tight, but yeah, like. Um, our slightly longer stream to finish off the month. We'll see how much wiggle room I can. Uh, yeah. I can we, we, maybe we'll start like a half hour earlier or something. We could potentially do that. I'd be down. I'd be fine with bumping it a little earlier. Yeah, yeah folks at home, I have. A, I'm. I'm now newly employed, but I work nights largely, so. And it's a and it's a bit of a commute for me. So I'll have to make sure that I can get there in time. Absolutely. Um, what was I going to look for? I can't give gifts to Maru or the boy. The boy will have to wait. We'll have to get the that boys to be next the week. The secret of the boy next week. No, I'm, initially I'm like, oh man, I want to, you know, I want to know the secret of the boy, but this is some good audience retention. Absolutely. Right here. I gotta, this I gotta is know some, what's uh, happening. <laughs> some cliffhanger level shit. All right. Oh, my coffee wore off. That's <laughs> bullshit. That's how I feel on a daily basis. <laughs> um, what? I guess I'll go do my hardwood run and. A wood run in general. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some looking around for for Mare Blueberry. I have found two ancient dolls today. I don't like that. Turn the man into clothes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. 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 Mare Blueberry. Right. I got a prehistoric scapula, which is something we are, which is something we already have. Just finding more of them. Hey, a new book. Who did this? Nice. All right, time to lumber griff. We need. Uh, you can maybe hit the. Worry, just to get some more Good stone job. for. Oh, are you at the train? I'm at the train. Are you gonna hop on the train and run away to a new life without me? I look. I'm, I I just kind of wanted to see it. I think I've seen maybe one of these things in the like yeah. you know, three years the game has I I've been playing. I think same and random like stuff like falls off of them, right? Yeah.
one of them Zach Robb's favorite things to quote is the uh, bit from the train arc of the Adventure Zone. It's like, hey, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Graham's my train name. He loves the train name bit. No tree shall remain standing in my wake. That train's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's done now. Nothing fell off. Nothing I've fell never off? Se I've never seen anything fall off of those trains. Huh. Like, I feel like there's got to be something that they do. There has to be some, maybe. like, ser function they serve. Yeah, maybe you, like, you have to, like, <laughs> maybe you harvest the train. Maybe you hit it with your pick. <laughs> and... and well, I was wondering what would happen if I stood in the track. It'd just, like, push you off? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, you did? Okay. I didn't. I thought about it. Next time a train comes through, we'll have a horse. And so we can just run the horse <laughs> up there and stand on the track and see what happens. There we go. All right, I'm walking away with a solid 300 wood. Well, okay, 292, but I'm rounding up. And I've taken care of the wood uh, up here by the spa and the railroad track. Excuse me. Boom. Mm -hmm. Go. So next time on Stardew Valley, mm -hmm. if any luck... We'll have our we'll, we'll have our stable done. Yes. With any luck, uh, we'll get two hearts with small boy, and we'll be able to acquire the deep dark secret of the uh, boy. Speaking of which, the crab pots are full, and there is a snail in there. Uh, cool. I'll swing by and grab that real quick. Cool. And. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to knock out the rest of winter. Yeah, uh, keep an eye on, on socials, folks. Uh, yeah. we, may, we may start a little early next week just to uh, help facilitate my, uh, my new work schedule a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. I, like uh, I like the little longer, a little bit extra stream to uh, finish off a month. I've been liking that. Yeah, for sure. Month, season, whatever. This will be our uh, our last day today. Thank you all for stopping by and hanging out. Really appreciate all of you coming Absolutely. out and visiting. If you hopped in late or just want to rewatch some of the madness, like that time that Chase um, ran after me with a spooky totem mask, mm -hmm. uh, you can watch the videos again on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash ghostlightmedia, where you're currently at. For the video on demand, and they'll be on our YouTube page as well. Yeah. Which the YouTube page won't have the weird bit at the beginning where we were fighting with the uh, new uh, streaming software. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. No one saw that. It's true. Well, Chuck saw that a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just watched Musu teleport. I just watched him disappear into the ether. Oh. Magic dog. Magic dog. Uh, we're using Streamlabs now. Yeah. So. Yeah, we switched from we OBS to Streamlabs OBS. Um, it has a few more uh, quality of life functions um, that are really nice, like the ability to put the chat in the stream there like we've been doing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slobs. Streamlabs OBS. Yes. You're in the stream, Vin. You're actually in it. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, uh, I'm talking to the, uh, uh, to the dwarf now. Oh, cool. We can buy bombs, a miner's treat, a uh, dwarf rare crow, and a stone Karen. Well, I've got to buy two of those for the shrine. <laughs> Ooh, 
be busted. Stop. Yeah, come on. Come on back. We'll set up that shrine and then we'll, we'll call it there for tonight. Call it there. God, the shrine is so powerful. Do we keep the Christmas tree when it's spring? No, I think that is a, that is a seasonal decoration that swaps out. Okay. Um, Maybe put them like... Maybe right there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can dig it. It's like they're... Oh, it looks like they're roosting on them. Look yeah. at that shit. All right, sick. All right. Well, cool, cool. Call that a call that a stream. Yeah, I'm gonna. Hold on. I've got I've got so many things I need to dump into the chest. We are going to make almost no money off of any of it, but it is because I can't imagine these men are worth much. No, they're not. They're like a gold. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for hanging out today. Indeed. Um, it's been a delight. But yeah, and uh, we don't have a custom URL for the YouTube yet because uh, YouTube makes you wait a long time before you can set that up. Um, but if you want to check out the uh, the edited down versions of this, uh, definitely just search for Ghostlight Media on YouTube or Star Dude on YouTube and we'll pop right on up. Um, yeah. But until then, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you, guys. All we right. will see you next week. Next week. Goodbye. Very well. This has been a Ghostlight Media production.